Let me write the first 20 elements of the periodic table along with their atomic number. Okay, now here's the trick. For the first 20 elements, if the atomic number of the element is even, then we just multiply the atomic number by 2, and that's it. And if the atomic number of the element is odd, then we multiply the atomic number by 2 and add 1. It's that simple. But we all know that chemistry is filled with exceptions, so you need to remember this fun line. Bears need clean air. This stands for beryllium, or BE, then nitrogen, or N, then chlorine, or CL, and argon, or AR. These are the elements where the trick does not work, so you will have to memorize them. You can see I have marked these elements with a star beside them. Now, let us calculate the atomic mass of all elements. For hydrogen, there are no tricks required as atomic number, and atomic mass are both one, and thus write one here. Now, for helium, the atomic number is two, which is even, and this atomic mass will be two times two, which is four. Lithium has atomic number three, which is odd. So we do three times two plus one, which is six plus one, giving us seven. Beryllium is a star element, so we will skip it. Boron has atomic number five, which is odd, so five times two plus one is 10 plus one, making 11. Carbon has atomic number six, which is even, so six times two gives us 12. Nitrogen is a star element, so we skip that. Oxygen has atomic number eight, which is even, so eight times two is 16. Fluorine has atomic number nine, which is odd, so nine times two plus one is 18 plus one, giving us 19. Neon has atomic number 10, which is even, so 10 times two is 20. Sodium has atomic number 11, which is odd, so 11 times two plus one is 22 plus one, making 23. Magnesium has atomic number 12, which is even, so 12 times two gives us 24. Aluminium has atomic number 13, which is odd. So 13 times two plus one is 26 plus one, giving us 27. Silicon has atomic number 14, which is even. So 14 times two gives us 28. Phosphorus has atomic number 15, which is odd. So 15 times 2 plus 1 is 30 plus 1, making 31. Sulfur has atomic number 16, which is even. So 16 times 2 is 32. Chlorine is a star element, so we skip it. Argon is also a star element, so we skip that too. Potassium has atomic number 19, which is odd. So 19 times 2 plus 1 is 38 plus 1, giving us 39. Finally, calcium has atomic number 20, which is even, so 20 times 2 gives us 40. See, it was super simple. Now let us look at the four elements we skipped earlier. Their actual values are beryllium is 9, nitrogen is 14, chlorine is 35.5, and argon is 40. Now the trick to find the atomic mass of the elements from 21 to 30 is a bit different. Let me now write the elements from 21 to 30 of the periodic table along with their atomic number. Trick is as follows. First check if the atomic number is divisible by 7. If it is then multiply the atomic number by 2 and add 3. If not, then check if the atomic number is even. If it is then multiply the atomic number by 2 and add 4. If not, then for an odd atomic number, Multiply the atomic number by 2 and add 5. That's it. And yes, there is only one exception, which is of zinc. So let us quickly apply this. Scandium has atomic number 21, which is divisible by 7. So 21 times 2 is 42 plus 3, giving us 45. Titanium has atomic number 22, which is even. So 22 times 2 is 44 plus 4, giving us 48. Vanadium has atomic number 23, which is odd and not divisible by 7. So 23 times 2 is 46 plus 5, giving us 51. Chromium has atomic number 24, 
which is even, so 24 times 2 is 48 plus 4, giving us 52. Manganese has atomic number 25, which is odd, so 25 times 2 is 50 plus 5, giving us 55. Iron has atomic number 26, which is even, so 26 times 2 is 52 plus 4, giving us 56. Cobalt has atomic number 27, which is odd, and not divisible by 7, so 27 times 2 is 54 plus 5, giving us 59. Nickel has atomic number 28, which is divisible by 7, so 28 times 2 is 56 plus 3, giving us 59. Copper has atomic number 29, which is odd, so 29 times 2 is 58 plus 5, giving us 63. Zinc is an exception, and we cannot apply this trick here. Its atomic mass is 65. With these easy rules, you can quickly estimate atomic masses and impress everyone with your chemistry skills. If this video gets 10,000 likes, then I will make another banger trick video like this one. So good.